Today I'll be using a Samsung phone and iPhone as the mobile device examples. It seems that a lot of the tips could be used across all mobile devices, but it may just be in different places and call different names. Before filming, you can simply go into your settings and handle any camera settings. For iPhones, you can go into your settings app. For Samsung, it's easily right there in your camera app. Both phones have their own ways of dealing with their camera settings. For iPhone, you can change your resolution and frames per second. For Samsung, you can activate your video stabilization. Both allow you to have a grid so you can see framing better. Explore this side before filming to get as much control as you can on the camera. To start off with lighting, when you don't have the equipment, natural lighting is the best bet. Sit by a large window and you can adjust the brightness on your phone, dictating how much brighter or darker you want it to be. On both phones, you can turn on the AEAF lock by holding down on the spot you'd like to stay focused on. This is so you can avoid times where if you moved or your subject moved, the brightness level will remain the same. In terms of audio, mobile devices don't have the best microphone. So the best thing you can do is simply be as close as you can to the phone itself. Now this limits a lot for you and the subject to be in distance to the phone. If you're shooting from a far distance and happen to have an old iPhone around or have a friend's phone you can borrow, you can use the voice memos to record the voice of the subjects and sync it later into post-production. Now lastly, in terms of framing, of course you want to film horizontally and not vertically. Additionally, for those who have Apple products, you can use the QuickTime player on your Apple desktop to mirror the screen on your phone. So if you're shooting from far away, you don't need to squint your eyes or anything to see yourself on your small phone screen. Simply attach your phone via the lightning cable, open up QuickTime player, and select new movie recording. A screen will pop up and click the arrow next to the red button and choose your phone. Suddenly, whatever is on your phone screen will be mirrored to your desktop. Using this tip and all the ones mentioned before, you can film a really good video just on your mobile device.